I'm Dr. Sabidi. I'm a geriatric psychiatrist affiliated with BJC Behavioral Health and Parkin Health Center. On a regular basis, while meeting with family members of patients with dementia who are receiving treatment in hospital and in the clinics, I'm often asked this question. Doctor, I know there are issues, but what can I do to keep my family member at home? That is a very profound question because at personal level, it crystallizes what it means to be a family. And on community and country level, it opens up a window to look at the enormity of the challenges the family members have in meeting the care needs of patients with dementia at home. I wish there was an easy answer to this, but I have found that a practical and useful answer to the families in this situation is be prepared and be informed. So talking about awareness and being informed, safety is the first and foremost concern of patients with dementia living at home. Some factors that can help us guide in understanding what needs to be done to create a safe home environment include level of severity of the cognitive impairment, dependency for activities of daily living, fall risks, and social support systems in availability of the caregivers. In fact, many researches also shows that these factors are in fact the predictors of nursing home placement. Discussion about this issue with primary care providers and mental health providers and being proactive in getting their input often can be a first step in planning and creating a safe home environment for elderly loved ones with dementia at home. It is also important to recognize signs and symptoms as well as progression of dementia with time. In early stages of dementia, if there is capacity, it is important to facilitate for the legal planning and appointment of durable power of attorney. Driving is another consideration and it has to be intervened before it becomes unsafe in patients with dementia. FDA has approved some medications like donepezil, galantamine, rivastigmine, and memantine for some types of dementia in certain stages. In later stages of dementia, patients may manifest with behavioral disturbances, which are neuropsychiatric symptoms like agitation, apathy, wandering, psychotic symptoms, mood symptoms, which needs to be addressed with judicious use of both medications and non-pharmacological measures. In elderly patients, and especially those with dementia, delirium is very common from common infections like urinary tract infection. Therefore, it is very important for families and care providers to work closely together for early intervention, especially in patients who are living at home and who have dementia. The other issue that cannot be ignored is the caregiver burnout. There are about 15 million unpaid caregivers to people with dementia in the country. And about 35% of those caregivers have reported worsening health conditions because of care responsibility. Lack of information about resources in the community is cited commonly as one of the stress by many caregivers. Therefore, disseminating information about the resources available in the community for patients with dementia and their caregivers, peer support and groups, and counseling to cope with stressors, and respite care are important in mitigating the caregiver burnout. So in summary, it takes a lot of planning and teamwork in safely keeping patients with dementia at home. So my advice to family again is, please be informed and be prepared. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.